there, this is Dr. Isaac coming at you from the Pain-Free Maverick. I'm here in Miami, in beautiful Miami today, and you've probably seen my videos if you're a runner, and my video is about uh, running pain. And if you're having knee, knee pain, and you're a runner, and you've tried everything under the sun, it's not your fault. You've tried everything. You've been to the chiropractors. They gave you some relief. You've tried some acupuncture. You got some relief. You went to the doctor. He gave you a shot of cortisone. He diagnosed you, did an MRI on you. Have you gotten a solution yet? Have you found your solution yet? Probably not. If you're watching this video and you're still looking for a solution and you're still running with pain and you're pushing through that running and you want to get through that next marathon and you want to prepare for your next event and you just have to stop every so often because your knee is just not getting better and you're getting a little worried and maybe you're just getting frustrated and you are at the point now where you're like, you know what, maybe I should just listen to my doctors. I shouldn't run anymore. I should quit because running is gonna destroy my knees. Running is gonna destroy my cartilage. Uh, I'm gonna end up with a knee replacement and I gotta stop this running thing. I don't think that's right. I think you're passionate. I think you enjoy running like I do. If you knew the truth and that the pure truth about your pain is that it's not coming from your bone and your muscle and over 92% of people, the research has shown, your bone and your muscle, what the doctor has told you is false. 92% of 100% of people, 92% is a lot of percent. Only 8% truly have and you're probably not one of the 8%. 8% of that population truly has a ripped meniscus that they injured on a sport, not from running, on a sport that needs to be removed, like a hangnail, like with a surgery, with a washout surgery, arthroscopic surgery. And or maybe 8% of the population over 65 has a bone-on-bone -bone arthritis that needs a knee replacement. They have true bone-on-bone, -bone. there's nothing that could be done. They can't walk anymore, they can't climb stairs. It's not you. Even though your MRI and x-ray said that you have those things, you need to consult someone who can talk you through the problem and help you find the right solution, not any solution. So your problem is coming from your nerve. I spoke about that in my other videos. You can go find those videos. I have so many videos here on my website. I'm very passionate about educating the, the community about those MRIs that are false positives. You can see in the video here, there's tons of research that shows MRIs are false positives. And many knee surgeries are unnecessary. You can see it right here. There's a research study right over here that says many knee surgeries are shams. Sham, you know what a sham is, right? False, not necessary didn't need to be done. So why are doctors doing these surgeries? Why are they prescribing them? Because you have been led to believe that what the MRI says is what's going on in your knee. And it's certainly not true. There is a diagnosis that's made by a consultant like myself who would look at you from head to toe and tell you what's actually driving your knee pain. Your knee pain, like I said, is coming from a nerve trapped, not letting the muscles of your hip or your ankle move properly in real time. So you're overworking your knee and causing an irritation. You can see my happy client over here smiling after his sessions with me. This guy was the most skeptical patient on the planet. He's been through everything just like you. He called me finally saying, I can't run. I'm not enjoying my life anymore. I'm a, I'm a workoutaholic. I can't enjoy my life. And I finally solved the case when all the other doctors missed the boat. It was coming from his back. And you can see how he's running in the video here. His leg is dropping every time. His hip is dropping. I did a full running assessment on him. I changed the way he ran. We changed his shoes to the proper shoes. We did neurocorrective training, which I talk about in my other videos, using this band and other types of tools that I didn't talk about yet. Neurocorrective training is what you need. You can see the video right over here of what neurocorrective training is all about. You can see me in action of what I do with my hands. I've also been on the news multiple times talking about neurocorrective training in my new book, Pain Secrets Your Doctor Doesn't Want You to Know. Uh, I've been on NBC, ABC, uh, Men's Health Fitness Council um, for the popular Men's Health magazine. I was one of their physiotherapists, um, not physical therapist. Physiotherapy is a different approach. It's neuromuscular, which we talk about in my videos here. But 
neuromuscular care. I was on the Men's Health Fitness Council. Um, I'm certified by them and many other credentialed bodies out there in the sports medicine world. If you're stuck and you've tried everything, I totally understand you. It's not your fault that you haven't found your recovery yet. If you really want to recover, I'm here for you. I'm in the Miami area. I'm a concierge physiotherapist, an expert, world-renowned for the skills that I have to diagnose the exact cause of where your problem is coming from. It could be coming from anywhere. I've had patients that had sprained ankles and that was causing their knee problem. Their knee was a symptom of the bigger problem. If you want to run again, I'm here for you and I'm going to help you run again. Go ahead and shoot me an email, ophir at allcarept.com and I will be happy to have a conversation with you. My telephone number is here on the website. Contact me, let's start a conversation. And I'll also send you a copy of my free book, Pain Secrets Your Doctor Doesn't Want You To Know. You can see it on Amazon and uh, buy it there if you'd like as well.